Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I continue to build the Eagle Moss Gone in 60 Seconds Eleanor. I am on Pack 2, Stage 6. Now, I really like uh, the size of this magazine. Uh, it makes it a little more handier to follow the instructions. You, you know, there's less room on your, um, it takes up less room on your workbench and uh, you know very detailed instructions here and I'm very pleased with that plus you know besides that we also have all the articles here so remember that this is the final stage for pack two and I'm getting super excited we'll be looking at pack three and building three more stages which would be stage seven through stage ten um, so if you haven't done so already, head over to EagleMoss.com and subscribe to this card today. I put a link in the description below. Um, so I hope everybody's doing well and they've been following my videos. I uh, recently have gotten really close to completing the uh, Aston Martin DB5 and probably the next uh, Eagle Moss car to be completed will be the Nissan uh, GTR R35 so I'm super excited about that car it's a beauty so far um, lots of exciting things happening here with my channel and stay tuned I have a new build coming up uh, very shortly for you so just stay tuned for that and I appreciate everybody that subscribes to my channel and uh, I would like to see more subscribers so you know spread the word out there on uh, YouTube and social media. I am available. I am on there. I'm on Facebook and uh, also um, uh, Twitter and Instagram. So just look for Scale Model Kit Review on all three of those social media sites and you should be able to find me. I put links in the description below on, on those so shouldn't be a problem for you at all to, to find those. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get started on the final stage, which is uh, stage six. Welcome back. Let's look at the build instructions for stage six, which is the final stage for pack two. Remember, you'll receive each month, your pack will have four stages built into it, or four parts packs built into them. Head over to EagleMoss.com and subscribe to this. So for stage six, we're going to be assembling the brake disc and caliper, and here's all our parts involved with that. And once we have the brake disc and caliper assembled, we're going to install that on the wheel and tire that we assembled in stage two. So let me get the parts and I will be right back. And here's the parts pack for stage six. It's got a lot of parts in here. Very nice. So let me take these out and we'll get a closer look. And here's a close up of those parts for the left wheel. This is the backing plate. And it's made of plastic and it does have an L on it for the left side. We also received the spindle and it's made of metal. It also has an L on it on top there. And the brake caliper itself is made of plastic and that has an L on it also. The brake disc itself made of plastic. There's no markings on it. And we received the knockoff for the wheel and DSO4 screws. Let's get started. First step is we put the, the backing plate for the brake disc on here and you want to make sure that uh, just line up your holes here and we'll see what best angle that's supposed to do. There we go. It only goes in one way pretty much and if you look here, you can see where your uh, arm goes out. That it won't line up any other way. 
Okay, so even if I try rotating it, it only goes down one way. Just like that. Next I'll turn this over and we'll put our brake disc on here. Just like that. And then we mount our brake caliper over the top of the brake disc and backing plate. And if you look, there's some locking tabs here that go into a slot. And we'll slot it in and press fit it in. There we go. Just like that. That's how that looks on that side. Next we need to get our wheel and tire from stage two. And of course it's gonna insert over the this whole brake assembly. Just like that. And, but before I do so, I want to go ahead and lubricate that screw hole with my Vaseline. Very safe to use. It won't harm you if you get it on your hands or fingers. And then we will slide this in. Now you'll notice that there is a tab here on the inner side. And we just want to line that up to where it goes into the tab. And this, this brake caliper here has the slot right there. The inner, inner side has a slot. We need to line that up with the wheel. which it looks like it's lined up now. And we will put the DS04 screw into this. Be careful that you don't over tighten this. That's good there, a little bit, a little bit tighter. Maybe just a little more. Just baby steps at a time. That's good. That feels really good. And now we can put our knockoff on. It press fits in place. And there it is. That looks great. And there's our brake caliper and brake assembly on the back side. Looks good. And that's all we do for stage six. And that's how that looks there. Looks great. Look at the back side with the brake assembly and all that on there. And that's all we do for stage six. I think it looks fantastic and it was really easy to build. I enjoyed this very much. So let me get all the other parts from all the stages from stage one through stage six and we'll wrap this up. I'll be right back. And here's all the kit parts that we've assembled so far. I think it looks fantastic. We have the hood here, one of the tires, the left seat back, uh, the top end of the engine here, that looks great, and the front nose clip. Fantastic. This is very striking and very nice. If you haven't done so already, head over to EagleMoss.com and subscribe to this car today. The iconic car from the Gone in 60 Seconds movie, which was the remake of the movie. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for all notifications. Happy modeling everybody and take care.